Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over how to create it so a sentence will appear in a widget letter by letter so it looks like it's being typed on screen. So let me hit play and show what we make today. So as you can see it's appearing on screen now, displaying it letter by letter so it's not just all going to be there, it's not failing on or off, it's typing it like this which is quite a nice little system a lot of people like to use especially in indie games. So this is what we're going to be going over today, creating this system as you can see here. Very easy to customize to change what's appearing, where it is, how quickly it's appearing and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is obviously create our widget. Now you might already have this part set up and have all your text in there. If so, that's great. I'm just going to create it in case you haven't. So you can right click, go to user interface and create a widget blueprint. I'm just going to name this one tutorial widget, opening this up straight away. All I'm going to do in the viewport here is add in some text and place it where I want. So just for the purpose of the tutorial, I want it to just be in the center of the screen, as you can see here. So it's going to be in the middle of the widget like this. Now in here, I'm going to write my text. And the reason I'm doing it in here is just so I can get a reference of what it's going to look like when it's completely on screen. So I've already got mine, so I'm just going to paste that in there. You just type in what you want. Now some little modifications I want to make is I want to set the justification to be in the middle, so it's centered like this. I want to give it a small outline of let's say three, just so it shows up a bit better on screen. And I also want to set the auto wrap text. And that means it's now gonna fit in the size of this box as you can see here. Now this obviously doesn't look great, so I just need to scale up the size of my box so it's gonna fit a lot better. So I'm gonna scale up like that. And I think that's gonna be good for me. I'm also just gonna move this up a bit so it's getting more centered. And if I were to do this, I can see where I want it to actually be. So I think that's going to look good for me. So when the text is completely on screen, it's going to look like this. Now you might want to move it to the left, to the right, up, down. Really, honestly, just customize this together to look how you want. But once you're happy with it, what you should do is select it, copy the text that's inside. You can leave it there, it doesn't matter. But just copy it and also tick is variable on the text block as well, as we're going to need to modify this in the event graph in a moment's time. So now we're going to go over to the event graph and delete event preconstruct and event tick as we just want to use event construct. Out of event construct, what we want to do is set timer by event like so, as we want to kind of create a looping event in an efficient way. So this event, we want to drag out and add a custom event. And I'm gonna name this one set text or type text, whatever it is that you want to do. So once we've got this set up, we want to right click on the time and promote it to a variable naming this type speed or writing speed or rate whatever you prefer and this is going to be the speed at which it appears on screen so if you want it quicker or slower you change this variable here so we we'll compile that and we can change the default value and i'm going to have it as 0.1 and that is what i was using in the beginning of the video as well so if you like that speed do this and this is speed in seconds so every 0.1 seconds is going to put the next letter on screen so again you can change this to be slower or quicker depending on what you want and we're also going to tick looping so this is continually looping so it does every letter which we want in our sentence we'll compile and save that next we want to actually set the text which we've got so to do that we're going to create two variables so the plus variable here first and this is going to be input text and this isn't going to be a text variable it's going to be a string just because some of the code we need to use is done via string instead of text so we'll convert it to a text variable later and we want to add another variable leaving this as a string again and this is going to be displayed text. So we compile and save that. So we'll select the input text and in here we're going to paste in the sentence which we created earlier as the input text is the full text we want on screen and the display text is going to be the actual text which the player can see, i.e. it's going to be increasing letter by letter to get to the full sentence in the input text. So down underneath all this, we're going to drag in our input text holding control to get it. And out of this, what we're going to do is get character array from string and what this does is it essentially just creates an array with all of the different characters from this string as separate elements so the string output will have h i space t e r e and all that stuff so we have each character in here now we want to drag out the return value and get a copy like so and we want to right click on this integer promote it to a variable and name this index and this is so we can now access a specific index, so a specific character within this string. So essentially we're just going to go from the beginning to the end of the string to get each character individually instead of a whole sentence at once. 
So we'll compile and save that. Now what we want to do is when we get this character, we want to add it onto the end of the display text. So we're obviously going to be continually adding a new character onto the text the player can see. So to do that, we're going to hold control and drag in the display text to get it. And then we're going to just simply append. And that is going to add in the value of B onto the end of A, i.e. our get, so the new character, onto the end of the displayed text string, like this. So nice and simple. And this return value now is going to be again what the player can see, which is going to be the set display text. So hold Alt and drag it in to set it, and set that into there like so. I'm just going to move this over. So now the display text is currently updated to be what the player should see, so it's now got the next character in there as well. But obviously the player can't see this yet, so what you can do is create a binding so that the text variable is always binded to the display text. But what I'm going to do instead is just get our text block, drag it in, and just set text with the text down here, like so. As that way it's just a little bit easier and a little bit less intensive as a binding is always going to be called. And then if we just drag in the, the display text into the in text, it will automatically convert it to a text variable, and now we have it there, like so. So now this is going to add in the next character onto our string and let the player see it. However, this will always do the same character as we're not increasing where it is. So let's do that now. All we need to do is get the index, so, so hold control. Out of this, we're going to get an increment int, just to increase the index by one. So it's going to go through the entire array and that is now good and done. So it's going to go through the entire array, getting the next character and adding it onto the string for the player to see. So this does work, it's now finished. However, we also want to be able to tell when the sentence has finished displaying, so the whole thing is now on screen. And you want to do that for multiple reasons. One, so we can then stop calling this. It won't make a difference to the player, but it will still be calling and that will then be intensive. We don't need that, so it's more efficient to stop it. And also you might want to do something when the text is finished, i.e. take it off screen. So what I'm going to do is drag out of the increment integer and get an equal equal integer. And the bottom value is going to be the input text get character array from string, so copy and paste that over here. And out of this, we're just gonna simply get length. So this is essentially how many elements are within this array, and then plug that into there. So if the index is at the end of the array, we want to stop it. So we're gonna hold down B, left click to get a branch, with that as the condition. True means we're at the end, so we finish the sentence. False means we're not at the end, so we've not finished the sentence. So the first thing we want to do is stop calling this event as we finished. So back at the set timer by event, come out the return value, and we simply just want to clear and invalidate timer by handle. Connecting this into true of the branch like this. And I'm also just gonna double click this to get a root node to keep it looking nice and organized. And what I'm also gonna do is hold down D, left click to get a delay, set the duration to let's leave it at 0.2, and then completed will be remove from parent, just so this is taken off of the screen, like so. We'll compile and save that. So after this, what you might want to do is you might want to then just reset this so you can then set the input text to the next slot of dialog, for example, you want to show, reset the display text default to empty, and then call the event again. So what you could do is instead set input text, set display text, inputting into the input text what you want. So for example, this is part two, and then display text as empty. In actual fact, I'm going to do this just to show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna have a duration of 0.2 there still, just to give a little bit of a time for the player to read it. Actually, I'll put it as one second, and this is part two of this visual system, just for a little example. We also want to set the index to zero as well, so it goes back to the beginning. And what we're gonna do is I could just loop this back up to here, but then it's obviously gonna continue doing it from part one to part two. So what I'm gonna do instead is just copy and paste this whole thing and move it down. Now obviously you could just instead loop it up to there but make sure there's a variable is set so it knows this is part two and down here if it's part two don't continue or go into part three but for the purpose of this video I'm not going to go into that. If you do want further help doing that just let me know. So then down here we're going to set timer by event. I'm going to move this out just a little bit so I know it's the next part and this will be set text to compile and save that and this should now work perfectly for us. So if we minimize this, I'm gonna open up my character blueprint just to show this widget at the beginning of the game. As you can see here, tutorial widget, compile and save. So like I say, this should now be working perfectly for us. And at the end, I also just decided to add in a part two as a lot of people might use this for a dialogue system. So this is how you then advance upon that. So let me hit play and test this out. 
So you can see it's coming on screen, giving this sentence, displaying letter by letter at the speed we decided, which now worked perfectly. And when it gets to the end, what should happen is it will wait a second and then display the second part, which we should be able to see any second now. There you go, it now went on to this as part two of this visual system, and now it should be taken off screen as I did add that in at the end as well. So this works perfectly. We've now created a dialogue system in which what will happen is the sentence, sorry, we put on screen letter by letter, and we can also have this in multiple parts. So we can have part one here, and then part two after this has finished displaying. And once the whole thing has finished displaying as well, we can remove it from the screen too. And once this is finished, actually I'll just do it now, I'll also show you that it's sped up. So if we change the type speed here, we can put this as 0 0.01. So it's really quick. Hit play, you'll notice that's coming on a lot quicker. And obviously that's very hard to read, but just to show you that that is what the difference in speed does. So I think that'll be it for this video. It's we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we can have a dialogue system on screen, kind of, so it's going to be displaying text letter by letter, and we can have it in multiple parts. So it's displaying multiple things as well, as you can see there. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.